Hi guys, it's Anilius and welcome back to Hearts of Iron number 4. We're going to be loading in the last saved game which we are playing as Germany. So let's just do that and I'll pause the recording in the meantime. Alright, the game is loaded. So let's have a quick look at where we stand. Now Poland, as you might remember, had surrendered because we took Warsaw. Uh, Warsaw is over here. In, unfortunately, in the meantime, we still are dealing with some of the remnants of the, uh, the allies of the Polish. So we basically got... Uh, Japanese units, Soviet units, and I believe we got some other units here as well. No, it's, it just seems to be those at the moment. But as you can see, we're basically pushing into the various different locations. One thing you'll basically notice for each of these individual units, they should typically be suffering from... Yeah, they should typically be suffering from the fact that they basically are out of supplies. So, yeah, let's see what the outcome of this particular conflict will be. We got some... Convoys we've been able to destroy here, it looks like. And yet another one. I don't know why we still got Polish convoys here, but okay, that's fine for now. As you can see, in terms of the air power, air doctrine, we are doing pretty well. Now, I've got the entire tree already researched, so there's not much I can do there at the moment. But we did just complete, of course, the... Uh, research on another airplane here, which is the Fokker Wolf 190A. <clears throat> no, it looks like we're basically okay. I very much doubt it though. But let's take that aircraft and actually modify it slightly further. As you can see, we basically improved reliability already to the max. Unfortunately, anything else I add to there at the moment reduce. Does it reduce my reliability? No, it does not. So the engine is okay to improve the reliability does suffer if i add extra weapons or uh, range to it so i'm actually quite inclined to leave that as is for now let's switch over to the b variant in terms of production because if they are faster they're of course more agile etc etc which of course helps now so in poland we're doing quite well if we look at russia you see that we basically pushed further and further into there Ungetated. There are still some pockets left here, it looks like, of resistance. Um, I can, of course, help push into here as well. Right, again, we're basically dealing here with further convoys. There's a Soviet convoys we're just taken out. So we basically push that number down, which is great. <laughs> How we're doing along the rest of the length here. I think we can actually push into there as well. It makes sense to push into these locations. Because again, if we can push them further back, that would be great. Let's have a quick look at actually our logistics situation here. So logistics down there is good. That supply depot is doing okay, I think. This one, I sh can I control that? It doesn't look like I can, is it? That is a bit of a pity. Let's just boost these railroad bits here if we can. Oh, Italians, of course, the Italians, sorry, that's the Mexicans, sorry. <clears throat> I said Italians, but of course the Italian and the Mexican flag look to some degree but somewhat similar, at least in terms of color scheme. I hope to basically free up all of these units soon. If I am able to do so, that of course means I can actually leverage those troops elsewhere. Alright, we're going to support them there as well. I would really hope that they get... Yeah, as you can see, these guys are out of supply, which is what I expected these guys here to be as well. And yes, they are out of supplies as well at this point. Which means that that victory will be relatively quick. So 
we've got an airfield here now uh, that's operating in Ukraine, as you can see. They're down somewhat in terms of numbers, but I think that's okay for now. If I basically take this one and move it down here and have it operate over there, that should help. There's lots of them over Western Poland, as you can see. Okay. Fighter wings operating here. I think I need to strengthen that somewhat. Bring that up to 25. All right. Got none there. I do have some here. Okay, that's suffering some losses, but that's okay. That one's at 50, and that's okay for now, I would say. Got none here. How many fighter wings have I got? I should really be able to create more fighter wings, but. Yeah, okay. Some of these, of course, are relocating to Kherson, which is in the Ukraine. Well, let's try to support them over there as well. But this should, of course, help because that basically helps reduce the length of our front lines. Okay. That should be relatively easy one to push into. Lots of troops stationed here. Just trying to get a feel for whether or not I can push further into some other locations here. Okay. Be able to win that. At least that's the feeling I get for that. Alright. Right, let's reduce the length of those lines somewhat. armies individually and let's see have we got any units that are not good orders at the moment what does this mean this uh, suffering attrition and such but okay again these generals can get a promotion it looks like improvisation expert uh, movement bonus on land that's quite useful I think this one doesn't get anything, this one doesn't get anything, this one doesn't get anything, this one doesn't get anything. Okay. So as you can see, I basically freed up a number of units here because, of course, I basically was able to push the enemy back. We, of course, consolidated some of our lines here already. I'm, I'm not looking to win that particular location, but I'm basically looking to basically lock these guys in place. Or lock those guys in place. So when I'm basically fighting here into Wuch, I should hopefully be able to yeah gain that territory without too much effort. Of course, any land lease is of course always welcome. guys can get a promotion. I don't want to give him that one. 
can give this guy a promotion, which is infantry expert, which will help. <clears throat> anything happening here that I can do anything with? I don't think so, not at the moment. Could I take out the airfield there? Probably. I'll take out the airfield there, that of course helps me. Ooh, I did suffer... Well, that wasn't me, that was basically our ally that was suffering some losses. Let's have a quick look at our naval situation. Our naval. This one goes there, the other one goes there. And these ships will go there. And this ship will go there. Consolidate them a little bit. Are we clearing out the enemy mines? Yes, this place was littered with mines originally. And as you can see, we've been clearing out those mines, which is great. <laughs> These guys are, what is their, I think that's still indicating that they got supply issues, which makes sense. I've actually got here I got 22 over here and I'm suffering in terms of basic numbers maybe I need to get an extra division in there or something I'm not sure yet all right let's have a quick look at our overall production which is this one Those are, should be relatively quick to repair. As you can see, we still got enough factories to basically work on new ones here between Krakow and Uf, Uf, or however you want to pronounce it. Interesting that they're trying to attack us here as well, but okay. in our favor, particularly with one weakened unit on their side. Bereit zum Ausrücken. <laughs> yeah, they're putting more troops on this front line, it looks like. We can invest in their state buildings. Yes, we're doing so already. So we finished some research here, it looks like. Is that the new hall that we did? I suspect so. Homing torpedo makes the torpedo attack significantly better. We'll look at the production here. We're only building out 111 per day. 
We've still got a shortage of about 38,000, which is most definitely not what we're looking for. But as you can see, these amounts are actually steadily increasing, which is good. So yes, we might want to do portable radios. That of course helps us in all of our operations. Attacking. I'm not quite sure. I am a little bit puzzled there. Bereit zum Ausrücken. Angetreten. Achtung. Okay. Total length of 225. So if I cut that particular position off from the rest, that will of course lead to a particular position where these units are fully surrounded. <laughs> well, again, we basically are in a superior position, so that's good. We got air superiority here. Did they just take another block there. I'm not quite sure. Right, some ausrücken. Befehle. Ihre Befehle. Kill for them or against them. Look at the power of their defense, it's 363. Wow. That is most definitely something to write home about. And of course, a recall that gentleman, which is fine, I think. any of those other bits there. We're still fighting down here as well as you can see. Angetreten. Zuhören. That wasn't exactly what I was looking for, but that's okay. I can of course lock these guys in place if I wanted to. I should see I'm supporting them there, which is fine. And I'm not doing it to basically win that, I'm just doing it to basically lock them in place, like I said. Basically, all the ones that I'm actually repairing have been done. This should be a really quick one. That should be a really quick one. These are actually quite crucial. Königsberg. Why are they basically damaging it in Königsberg? That's in this region, isn't it? Yeah, Königsberg. Oh, well, okay. So what are we basically spending effort on at the moment? We can do anti-communist raids, we can do anti-democratic raids. Let's do the anti-democratic one. Yes, we temporarily suffer. But in the long run, our percentage will go up. That would, of course, be beneficial to us. Ihre 
Befehle. Das ist Kursk. Zuhören. Achtung. Let's push into here as well. Actually, let's take that like that. Supporting there first. That should be a relatively easy victory, but that basically gives me a second front I can actually attack them from. No, I'm, I shouldn't be attacking that. Sorry. Okay. The reinforcements are still coming in, as you can see. What's our logistics position here? Now, we basically do have some armored cars, plus one. I don't know why. We don't really need armored cars, but okay. We're short of support equipment, but that shortage seems to be shrinking. We're short of light tanks. We got. Yeah, a bit of a surplus of medium tanks, but I'm not sure we really need them at the moment yet. Unless I start designing a new one. Let's duplicate this. Medium Panzer Division, okay. <clears throat> cool, we got ideology ideological defense, which gives me what? Uh yeah, they get the anti-communist act perfect. Is there anything else I need to add to this? I don't think so. So ideological defense was down here. Yeah, I can work on that. <clears throat> right, so what have we got here? We basically want to start, of course, production of that. I actually want to start those over here in Hinterpommern. As you can see, I could potentially deploy some of these already. I don't want to do that yet. these no I just haven't been trained enough all right let's get going again look at my air force keeps on gaining and gaining and gaining in terms of experience so what could i do i can of course create alternative versions of this one here i'm already working on the version a version B here in reality. <laughs> because there's no yeah, efficiency at the moment at all, it won't make any difference there whatsoever. I can rename it, but I cannot change it other than that. Mechanized equipment. Let's have a quick look at our production here. So we basically got this particular unit type. If I create a duplicate of that, called mechanized. Okay, and then I basically change these over to what it should be here, mechanized. Do I need to add any extras into here? Yeah, field hospital would be a really, really useful one to have. Do, 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 do. 
Do no back one. Ah, I don't have that as of yet. Okay, so let's save that for the moment being. I do want to get some means of basically getting my artillery design up such that I can actually create other tank designs here. So let's take this here. As you can see, we got the chassis for the various different tanks. Um, I don't want to create this as such directly. I want to create a new one from scratch. And I think if I basically click on this one, I get to do that. No, not the heavy, medium. Medium howitzer, improved medium howitzer. Okay, so easy maintenance. Okay, fine. Ammunition storage, would that be helpful? Potentially. Does that do extra ammunition storage? That reduces reliability as well. That's not good. What's the current reliability? 126. Okay. Maximum speed, crusty suspension. And to... Okay, and here we're gonna put it... We could put it... Mm. Let's keep that on there for now. I think that will do. <clears throat> we don't want this. Is that better? No. Not flak, it's howitzer. That might be the better one. Perfect. Go for that design. How oh, What have we got on this one? Medium cannon. PG pounds, I mean, okay. No, did I just replace the light tanks with that? I did. That is such a silly move to make. Oh, well, never mind. <clears throat> Get there eventually, it's just gonna take a little while longer than I thought, but okay. Again. As you can see, we are pushing them back nicely over here as well. All right. engagements and that there's no doubt about that whatsoever All right, it's just really a matter of how much would it cost us oh gosh 
radios, okay. Decryption, do we need to do anything about decryption? I think I'm okay, but the naval department might be useful. So let's work on that naval department for now. Anything useful here? It doesn't look like it, so let's close that down. Just has to focus on what we go here. Perfect. So then there's an airfield there, which would be helpful to basically get our hands on. I am going to modify one of these lengths here. To really focus on that length there. Okay, perfect. Too much assigned to some of these units here already. And again, I'm gonna modify that line as well. It just needs to be a tiny bit of overlap. That doesn't need to be tons of it, but it needs to be sufficient for us to be able to maintain a proper front line here. We're not that far from Moscow, as you can see. Get rid of that final pocket there, and that finally, finally will free up my troops here. How are we doing over here? Yeah, I did try to take that particular position, but that wasn't with any luck, any success. But this front line is kind of stagnated, isn't it? Befehler! Befehler! Okay, let's have a look at these positions here. Zuhören! I'm not looking to select the armies, I'm looking to select the provinces. I cannot do that, that looks like, which is a bit of a pity. Finally, it gets done like that. Guys, seven more days to go, and then we can basically finally get that one started. Yay, finally. All right, so what have we got here? These guys. Right, these I can transfer over to there. These I can put onto that little front there. These guys, you guys can. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take a new front here. All right. It should just be you. Befehler. Right, these guys. I'm gonna assign just. Should I just put them on the northern border?
zuhören. Cool. If I reduce this line here. Seventeen. Hold on. Hold on. Who is it? Bereit zum Ausrücken. Uh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Stop. Oh shit! So sometimes so difficult to get the right line. that probably so it's blue perfect All right, let's start this again Befehle angetreten ihre Befehle Take that blue line I said. And reduce that blue line up to here. So there's at least that slight bit of overlap. You always want to make sure you keep that bit of overlap because if the front line shifts, that's got a substantial impact upon the the way it'll shift. There's a bit of a bulge here, as we can see. It might be useful to get rid of that bulge somehow or another. All right, let's see if we can basically push into there. We'll support them, of course, from multiple different fronts. Great. All those were victorious. Perfect. Well, research of the advanced light tank is almost done. Württemberg. Württemberg. Uh, let's find out where that is. Okay, perfect. As you see, we already have some radar in there. Helps our Air Force over here. But what I don't need here anymore, I don't need my Air Force to be operating from there anymore. I think I had them operating from there because. Yeah, it was relatively close to the front line there. Perfect. So we are in 1941. Yes, yeah, so it is still 1941. Let's see what else we can do here. Uh, we can work on the heavy tank design? Oh, I don't want to do that, really. <clears throat> can work on a new design for that, which is fine. Why would we have a one-man turret on there? Why can we not have that? Light big structure in a turret. Okay. Light fixed superstructure in a turret slot.
got our radios, of course. I still don't get it. Medium armament required. Yeah? Light thick superstructure in a turret. Okay. Okay, that works. Whatever me stuff could be put in here. The dozer is not used here, really. Armored skirts. Smoke launchers. Sloped armor. I'd say sloped armor most definitely is a plus. Takes it to 100%. Leopard, uh, why does it look so clumsy? Yes, it's a blooming light tank. Sorry about that. Anyways, I think we got a good design and I think we're good to go. Let's call it the leopard, it's fine. And we're basically working on building the leopard now. Very, very small numbers to start off with, but yeah, we need to start somewhere. In terms of what we got here, we basically are working on extra factories in the Rhineland and so forth. What else have we got here that needs a bit of work here? Let's just push these up again. It's only a temporary bit of a work to be done, but then of course those factories should be done relatively quickly. And again, this work should be done relatively quickly as well. Bereit zum Ausrücken. Right, so here. Create that overlap here. All right. Ihre Befehle. Bereit zum Ausrücken. Achtung. Gosh, these troops are just taking a while to basically move in. Ihre Befehle. Befehle. Ausrücken. All right, that's okay for now. We still got some aerial units operating here, I believe. Yeah, as you can see, we still got lots of them here.
Can I move him to another position somewhere closer by? No, it doesn't look like that's really feasible, is it? We don't have any... Oh, okay. Lovely. Right. As you can see, we're working on more factories and that's coming along quite okay. As you can see this number, ooh, look at that. That, that number has actually significantly reduced. Germany announced the anti-Soviet pact, which is great. So we get an, do, do we gain that or not? We formalized the treaty, which is fine. We're not going to do that. Okay, so what's the next way we're going to go? We can't do anything there. Okay, we can accept some support equipment deliveries. That's perfect. Long range escorts. Wunderwaffen. Mm -hmm. I think synthetic rubber would be useful, but this one would be useful as well. I think the synthetic rubber is the best one for the moment being. If we look at our imports and exports. We're not importing any steel, we are exporting steel, as you can see, to various different parties. We have got a shortage of this one, so let's actually get one batch of that in. Turkey should be a good trading partner there. Okay. Is that one retreating? It's a bit of a miracle, but okay. Oh, miracle. All right. Promise. Maybe I should say. They are getting supplies in from various different locations, I would suspect. into there from different locations again. Again, if I can lock them in place, that of course helps. When I say locking in place, I really, really mean make sure they don't reinforce their neighbors. now here on the north that we didn't have before. Look at this one. I've got a tank in there. Why do I have a tank in there? I don't know. But it must have been my accident that I basically put it into there, but okay. Advanced light tank. Cool. Still got a shortage, but these new designs should of course help out. Achtung. If we look at the composition of that unit, for example. Panzer two, and I've got so many different versions in there. Ihr 
Ihre Befehle. Achtung! Zuhören! Great if we could win that, but that's not guaranteed. Angetreten! Getting supplies through. Why? These lines are abysmal. Right, well, let's keep on working on that. What design of submarine are we working on at the moment? We're actually working on the old hole, 1936. So we need to basically work on the new hole, design three. to design them it looks like let's add the building of that new design to here As soon as we finish the last of the old design, we're basically going to work on the new design. It's as simple as that. But I, I, I'm pretty sure we were also working on destroyers, were we not? Pretty sure I worked on a new design for destroyers. That's the minesweeping one. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. They're losing tons of destroyers here, it looks like. Convoys, etc. They're also losing. Let's have another look at our navy here. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, tons of submarines available. down here.
Down here whatsoever? No, it doesn't look like it. All right, guys, I think it's about time for us to call it a day. I need to get going anyway, so um, yeah, that's exactly what we will be doing here. Zuhören. Logistics wise, we are doing far better than before. I get the impression I should no, no worse than slightly before, but yeah, it's it's improved compared to the beginning of the game. We're in October of 1941 at the moment. Yeah, as you can see, we basically are having luck on most all fronts, which is great. No more mines! Because, of course, they littered the land here with mines, which was, yeah, okay, not the way we wanted it to be, but okay, that does sometimes happen. They're still trying to ferry troops and such through here, but okay, we're trying to push them back at the same time. Yeah, we do need to work on the logistics through here because we don't own this land. We don't. But it would be great if we did. Okay. Um, I can request the land, please. That would be useful, wouldn't it? Anyways, guys, I'm going to call it a day. And uh, I'd say have a good one. And I'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, take care. Bye-bye.